First question for you. Given the fact that Andy would have had to have seen Lightyear in order to want the toy, it makes me wonder, do you remember the very first movie that you saw that made you have to run out and buy the toys from that film? God, good question. I probably, it was probably uh, Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles. The, the first one, the original one. Oh, yes. I, that was like, the. I mean, come on, it was so good. And um, I, I, I remember needing every single toy that they possibly made. It was right there with you. It was Ninja Turtles and Jurassic Park. Every sure, figure Jurassic promoted. Park. I mean, Thundercats was really big for me. He-Man was really big. And they made that movie, Masters of the Universe, yes. with Dolph Lundgren. That was a great movie. I still vividly remember what those toys in the 90s looked like, too. Yeah, great. <laughs> I mean, come on. I still have them in my closet somewhere. I mean, I do. Now my niece plays with my Jurassic Park oh, toys, really? and it fills my heart so great. much. All right, another uh, movie story inspired question for you. So one of my absolute favorite parts in the movie is when Buzz is recalling going through training, and he wasn't really good at training, but Alicia saw something in him, and then he became the space ranger we know him to be. Right. For you as an actor, is there anyone who saw something in you back in the day when you were having a tough time that kind of, you know, put you on the path that you're mm. on today? I mean, I'm very lucky. My parents were always really, really supportive. Um, I had a couple good uh, local theater directors. When I was a kid, you know you do community theater and kids theater and things like that. So there were a couple people who certainly encouraged me and, and gave me the confidence to believe that I had something that was worth pursuing. Um, but, but probably more than anyone else, my parents. You know what I mean? They're the ones that kind of, but I mean, I suppose that's probably the case with a lot of people, but you know, anything I did, they told me it was the best. I'm grateful to say the same is true for me. So now with the voice of the character, you just have the greatest creative opportunity here because on the one hand, you need to be able to connect it to the character we know from the original Toy Story right. movies, but technically he is not the same person. So what was it like finding that pitch perfect balance that people immediately make the connection, sure. but also understand that he's a unique individual? Yeah. Well, uh, it's, it's nice to have what Tim did because not only did he do it so well and you know we all love him, for what his performance was, but but the character actually is. I mean, this is the human version of the toy, so it's not like you're, you know, doing James Bond or something where you get to play an iconic role, but with a completely fresh take. This is an iconic role, but informed very much in part by what Tim did. Whatever this character is would have to be why Tim is the way he was. So you just kind of take his performance as a blueprint and just move upstream. It's a very smart uh, approach to this story. I'm fascinated yeah, why by the Yeah, work hard world? when someone's already <laughs> knocked it out of the park, you know? Just steal if you can. Uh, you do a lot with it yourself, yeah, too. Thanks. So it's been a very, very long time since you've done another animated feature. Was there anything about making a Pixar movie today that, you know, you back then would think, like, I can't believe that this is how they make animated movies yeah. today. Well, I mean, it's so funny. Everyone always says, like, well, what was it like working with the other actors? You don't work with the other actors. You're, you're in a booth by yourself. I didn't even meet half the actors until last night at the premiere. So, so it's, it's a very isolating thing, and, and you really end up focusing extremely on the one string you're playing on, which is your voice. Um, sometimes you'd give a certain delivery that you felt was authentic, but then you'd hear it back, and it might feel a little flat. And you realize, okay, I can add a little more, you know, sauce to this. You can put some color in, onto it, and, and really um, um, trust that that they'll pick and choose what is appropriate for the moment. But but have fun with it. You know, you, you can't go big enough. Tis the masters over there. You couldn't be in better hands than the folks yeah. at Pixar. It's something else.